And what is going on, mi gente? It's your boy Chino coming at you with the first video of 2024. Mi gente, I hope you guys had a great new year. I hope you guys spent it with your friends and family that bring you the good vibes. And I hope that 2024 is off to a good start for you. This is the year of victories and achievements, and we're all going to progress in some way or another this year. I firmly believe that 2023 went by fast, and it felt like it was just one hell of a year. But we're in the new year, new beginnings. And speaking of new beginnings, we're going to be starting our brand new game today, Lies of P. This was one of my most anticipated games of 2023, and I wasn't able to unfortunately get it in that year. But my mom, yep, I have no shame in saying it. My mom came in clutch and she gifted me Liza P. And I told myself that will be the first gameplay of 2024. <sighs> and I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Just from what I know, I, I try to avoid spoilers for this game at all costs. And it has been difficult. It has been difficult, but I did it somehow. And from what I know, you essentially play as Pinocchio and you're trying to find Geppetto. And that's essentially all I really know. And then it's essentially a, you know, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne style of game, Elden Ring style. Um, and from what I've heard, it does a tremendous job at it while feeling fresh and unique. And I honestly, I'm just so excited to start this. Uh, so, mi gente, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. And you know, like I always say, let the stress go, let the good vibes flow. That's what we're here for. So now, let's dive into it. Lies of P, ladies and gentlemen. New game. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. Carlo Colodi? Colodi? I'm not too sure. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. <laughs> benefit offer. A benefit item was delivered. What was that? How do I check that? Move, rotate camera. Okay. Whoa, this shit is moving fast. How do I, uh. Can I change that? Okay, that's better. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Interesting. Now, the only experience I have with this game was the uh, the demo they released a few months back. Um, and I played that demo, like, I want to say three times. And, man, it grabbed me. It grabbed me by the cojones. I see they got Jiminy, too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Use belt, select upper belt, select lower belt. Okay, I think that's what I was just doing by accident over here. Hold down to activate extra bag. Use item, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh no. Okay. Okay, so this is Gemini. Okay, Gemini. Gemini Cricket. Okay. 
Oh yeah, he even has like a cricket logo on him. What is these? You obtain the following benefit item. Alchemist Heist, Emerald Glasses, Treasure Hunter Mask and Appeal. What is this? How'd I get that? Huh. Interesting. Um, can I like look at this? Increases brightness upon use. A small lamp with a cricket guide puppet inside. Oh. It illuminates the darkness with a faint light. Do not be afraid. Even if you get lost in the fog, the cricket guide will be with you. Interesting. Do I have anything else I could put here? No. Okay. Oh, so, okay, so I could put this anywhere. Okay. Yeah, I played the demo of this game, and the demo was so good. And I'm not a huge, like, I'm not a huge Demon Souls, Dark Souls uh, style player. Um, just because I tend safe. to suck at them. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Oh, God. Um... Path of the Cricket, Balance. Path of the Bastard, Dexterity. Path of the Sweeper, Strength. <laughs> strength. Um, a balanced combat style with power and speed. Vitality, Vigor, Capacity. What does Capacity do, I wonder? Hmm. What's the other one? Dexterity. Yeah, I don't really like dexterity in these type of games. Like, they're not bad in any way, but... I always find that they're kind of weak and their weapons kind of suck. If I'm not mistaken, in the demo, I think I did Path... Path of the Cricket. I think that's what I did. I'm gonna go Strength here. Yeah, vamos a poder dos. We're gonna be powerful, alright? Let's go with strength. I want to be a big boy. Damn, this sword is crazy. You know, I was like, why does he sound so staticky? But I, I think that's on purpose. And just a warning. Uh, before I die, the very, very, very many times I'm gonna die. I am in no way, shape, or form an expert in these games. I struggle with these games a lot. And I tend to get lost a lot. I tend to die a lot. Um, and it tends to take me a while before I get used to the combat. So, I just want to give you guys the heads up on that. <laughs> so bear with me, please. This could take me all year to beat. Uh, hopefully not, uh, but let's get into it, let's go. So normal attack, special attack. Okay. 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 My well, stamina recharge is pretty fast. Can I combo after that? Okay, I can. I did not mean to do that. So now, can I do this? And now it just goes right into that. Okay. Use Legion Arm. Oh! Cool! Dim Ergo Fragment. What is that? 
Obtain Ergo plus 100. A fragment of Ergo, a mysterious power stone that can be found in Krat. A Geppetto's puppet can observe or arc Ergo and turn it into power. Ergo is both a power source and currency in Krat. Even small piece pieces can be put to good use in this. Okay. Let's put Jiminy back on. Oh wow. I didn't think he was actually that bright. Man, this game looks incredible. It somehow... What is that? Uh, what I was gonna say was, it somehow feels even better than the demo. Okay, so I can't break boxes. Like, the demo already felt polished. Like, it felt really good for a demo. Uh, but somehow, it runs even smoother. Holy Jesus. Yeah, this game feels great. Pulse cell. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. There is a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cells will gradually be charged. Oh. Okay. That's good to know. Let's keep him on. He uh, actually makes a difference. Nothing there. This feels so good. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the studio's first game. I could be wrong. I think this is like their first actual like full-fledged game. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that feels good. Another dim fragment. Sorry about that. My allergies are acting up. Well, that's gonna be nice to actually land on something. Oh, that bitch killed me a lot in the demo. Yeah, man, this game looks great, man. It looks fantastic. Oh, man. Nah, this looks crazy. I hope it looks as good for you as it does for me. Because, my God... Look at the textures, man. Look at the textures. Look at the texture on the stone. I don't know if it's going to be able to pick it up on the video, but my god. The station employee has the train station keys. I don't know how I feel about Dodge being on Circle. Um, I wonder if I can change that. Controller, button settings. I just want to change those two. Change this to X. Change this to circle. Nice. Yeah, that feels more natural to me. Oh my god, I think it's because I've been playing so much God of War. I think that's what's happening. Okay, I kind of like that better. And then I can select. Okay, yeah. And then circle will be for interacting, right? Yeah, okay. That just, that just feels more natural. It just feels more natural. Guard. Guard. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon or put the enemy in staggerable status. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, you actually have to like sharpen... Yeah, there you go. 
Okay. I thought I kind of remembered that. Oh no! Okay, at least I blocked it. I thought I was about to get messed up there. Yeah, I can't remember. Is Gemini on right now? Holy shit. Wow. Damn, Gemini. You were crazy, Light Source. Oh, crap. That's wild. I think I want to kind of turn something I want to change real quick. Let's try the motion blur on. I kind of want to see how it looks like. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Interesting. Let's keep it on for a while. Oh, God. Ooh, thermite. Is that just like a firebomb? Change equipment. Oh. Wait, can you get like a... Can you get like a second weapon? Interesting. Defense. I have no idea what any of this is, so let me just... Kind of keep going with the flow. I love that you can hear that bitch in the background. A thermite bomb that can be thrown inflicts fire damage at the area of impact. After the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance in their desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured, and these exhibited excellent results against their march marching enemies. Okay. I think you can just throw this. A cog wheel that is a common sight and crack, it can be thrown to draw at enemies' attention. Uh, even worthless items can be useful if you collect them. Everything became useful in battle in the paralyzed city. Damn, okay. So, okay. So I got Germany. No, okay. Yeah, I feel like I should get in the habit now of keeping my weapon sharp, I guess. I don't really know. I don't think I can break these. Yeah, okay. Okay. Try a pra come on. I want to try to get a perfect guard. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, that timing is very weird. Oh, man. That's going to take some getting used to. Passengers note. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I locked I locked the door, but I didn't know if that would work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help even if it's not much. Please survive, anyone. Holy shit. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm about to go face right now. Is the uh, train guard or whatever? Let's see. Oh, there is a run. Okay. Oh, there's an actual like running jump. Oh, cool. I like that. That's a pretty cool animation. Whoa! Oh yeah. 
And they baited the shit out of me with that one. I thought I was clear. And I think that's still the same one that we got. Lock device. There are doors and ladders all throughout Krat that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Aha! Thank you. A fable catalyst. What is that? Oh yeah, I'm all about the lore. Because I'm really intrigued by this game and like where it's going to go. Um, So I want to kind of know everything that's going on. A catalyst made to supplement puppet abilities. Rapidly charges Fable. The catalyst made puppets more efficient by circulating ergo energy within their bodies. This groundbreaking invention was based on one alchemist idea. Okay. So maybe I should put that here. Maybe. I, don't, I think we should have it there, so. Oh, word. Okay, cool. Shortcut. I love it. Son of a bitch. See, and that always happens to me in these types of games. I'm always like, what do I do? What did I press? Um. Uh, I don't know what this does. But I'm gonna have it equipped just in case. Let's not get too aggressive here and then get fucked up. Ooh. Did I get him? Staggerable. Hold R2. Hold for a charge attack. Oh my god. Face a staggered enemy plus... Oh. Okay. Where do I go? Oh, okay. Oh, get shit on. Get shitted on, son. That's the cleanest I've ever done that fight. In the demo, I died like a thousand times. Oh, yeah. No, the combat feels really, really good in this game. It feels great. Is there like a, um, so, okay, so this is this link slash mm -hmm. damage reduction rate while guarding slash an enemy inferno uses an extra flavor slot just to, to slash up to three more times. Perfectly blocked enemies attack temporarily. Okay. Great sword of fate blade. A puppet, a great sword blade made by refashioning its soldier puppet's weapon. Even when used as a bayonet, its unique bend keeps it from interfering with firing. Stalkers who, are, who have survived life or death situations can see the threats of prey. Mm hmm. Great sword of fate handle. The stand the greatsword handle made by the workshop. It is sturdy. It is sturdy since it was made by Kratz Workshop special techniques. Interesting. So even like weapon parts have lore. That's about to get crazy. Mm. 
Mm. I got a new frame. Mm. Okay. Parts that enhance puppet frames can absorb physical damage. This item was made by the puppet workshop for the purpose of improving strength while limiting the weight increase as much as possible. However, its weight is significantly greater than the standard version. Okay, and in the top right, it looks like there's the weight with the ergo amount that we have. Okay. Interesting. Come on, there's even gestures and everything. A key once held by a Kratz Central Station Puppet opens the front entrance of the station. The station puppet fulfilled the duty and printed on it. Its last duty ended with the bloody violence. Interesting. So can I change this? Oh, okay. That's not too bad. That's not that bad. I can, I can change that. It's a converter. Oh man, there's gonna be so much shit. I wonder how bad the fat rolling is gonna be. Because in these games, man, when you get heavy, you'll be feel it. This looks great, man. Oh, man. This studio, they get it, man. Use a stargazer for fulfilling, for fully, <laughs> for fully recovering HP and stamina, as well as charging your pulse cells. You will be revived at this point in case of death. Remember, this person also revives enemies, not just your character. Of course. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Warning. Puppet doors will experience danger estimates. Please reduce puzzle numbers or reset danger parameters. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, mm -hmm. gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. Okay. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. I don't think I have anything to put in storage, so... So I'm at 2193. Just for science, let's just use all of this. Damn, I love the menu, man. This game looks great. Okay, so I got 2493. What does Vigor do? My stamina? That's actually a really good, like. What is, so what does Vitality do? HP, Guard Regain, okay. Mm -hmm. What does this do? Legion, I don't know what Legion is. Technique. Would Technique be Strength or is that Motivity? Huh. That's the weight, right? Bigger stamina? Okay. I'm 
I'm trying to see if I'm reading this right. So I'm assuming motivity. Yeah, I'm assuming motivity is strength. Right? Yeah, it gotta be. Is this to tell me? Hold on, before I go make some rash decisions. Weapon attack for 120. Okay, yeah, let's. I think I got it right. I think I got it right. Screw it. Where do I have to go? We're all learning here. And I don't care how long it takes, I want to actually get good at this game. So like I said, I might be uploading this shit all year. And that does some damage. What the hell is this? Fable arts. Triangle. Use fable arts. Triangle while guarding. Use fable. Use handle fable arts. Oh. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own fable art. Fable art uses up fable slots, and different fable arts use a different number of slots. Charge fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Okay. That was the one thing in the demo that I really couldn't get down. The crack times issue 183. The crack grand expedition has been delayed. The dis this decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The recurrence began on Rosa, Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing as the crisis dragged on. The workshop in Venity, I don't know, company, Christ's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could they could do to alleviate the situation. The task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick there is no quick solution as of now with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties as the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety however many citizens are trying to escape through Krat central station intensifying the general chaos holy shit so it sounds like all hell went uh all hell unleashed on this little city if i'm if i'm understanding that correctly Sorry, my dog just came in, so I had to like, kind of turn away from the mic. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Sawtooth wheel, okay. Jimmy, are you turned on right now? Oh wow. Yeah, he turned on, alright. Can I sneak up behind this dude? Yes! 633. Is there anything around here? Sorry, Poochie. I think that's everyone. Alright. I was gonna go to the Stargazer, but then I remembered it brings back everybody, so. And no, thank you. I think it also increased. I think it also. I uh, think my Legion arm. Cause I don't think I have full energy on it. Mm. 
I don't know which way to go. Mm. Sorry guys, I had to uh, readjust my, my headphones. Vivid Ergo Fragment. Sneak up on this bitch. Wrong way, Pinocchio. Who oh, have got? What does that mean? Does that mean it's just went back to storage? I'm assuming that's exactly what it means. Is there something up here? Come on, come on, come on. Sneak attack. Oh, yeah. What is this way? Hmm. Oh, it looks like I have to only get it from the other side. Okay. Behind this dude first. You suck, bitch. I was trying to turn in time, too. Like this in the dummy? I can't remember. A vivid ergo fragment. What is that do? Oh, okay, it gives you 300 instead of one. Okay, cool. Oh, wait. How do I get over there? I don't know. Some enemies you can become red and use a strong attack called a fury. You cannot dodge or guard. Oh god. Ouch. Yeah. Yes, I have 
this just in case. Atmosphere. I don't think I can go this way. So, no, okay. Let us run this way. Breaking every box in our path. I see. You. What the shit? I did not see you, sir. Okay, my Fable Arts is fully charged. Alright, that's good to know. Anything on me? Break the damn boxes, thank you. R1 or R2 while falling? I tried not to happen, so whatever. Did I miss anything over here? I don't think I did. Emergency repair tool made to support. Ah, oh, okay. Also, maybe if you don't keep up with your weapon with sharpening, it'll just break eventually. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Nothing there. All right. Oh, that last enemy, that big one that almost killed me, he really did look like Mario. Oh god, oh god, there's so many of you. So many of you, holy Jesus. Um, I guess we can... can I do a sneak attack? No. Evil robot dog. Aha. The most loyal servants. I don't think there's anything down here. Does that look like it? Oh, yes, shortcut. Excellent. I just realized I have not seen a stargazer in a while. Which means if I die, I will lose a lot of progress. A oh my God. Parade puppets blocking the entrance. And that's the only way in. Oh shit. So please be careful. Is that our first boss? If it is, I'm definitely gonna die a lot, I think. What the shit? Alright, so that's 
that's how that works. Hello there. Welcome to Krat, visitor. Krat. I didn't okay. think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Hmm. Okay. Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. What do you sell? Ooh. Interesting. So he sells the swords. Like your starter swords. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, yo. You give me a second. Keep all that. Out here alone? What are you buying? <laughs> he reminds me of the merchant <laughs> from Resident Evil 4. Electric buzz? This might be a complete waste of money. everything important. Okay. How much would I need? Oh, 862. Okay. Right, I love that it auto saves it too. Oh, hello. Introducing the parade puppet. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the Grand Expedition. Hello there. I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. 16 songs, cheerful laughter, 54 parade phrases, parade dances, the strength to carry six men on his shoulders. I 
Alright guys, give me a second before I go up here. I want to take a quick sip of coffee. Hope you enjoyed that atmosphere, people. Uh, let's go. I am nervous, to say the least. Because I don't think I was able to beat this puppet <laughs> in my demo playthrough. That's a big boy. Using his head as a hammer? I got really stupid at the end, but he was so close, I couldn't resist, I had to. I had to. It was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah, that was worth it, alright. In my eyes, 100% worth it. That's crazy. Obtain f 5,000 Ergo. Ergo obtained from the Freya Master is packed with immense power. A treasure hunter may want this rare Ergo. Although the entire audience disappeared in a pool of blood, the Parade Master was cheerful. As long as there's a king, the show must go on. Quartz, P organ ability activation for a colorful tiny Ergo fragment. It activates a special ability when equipped to the P organ. There is a special kind of ergo with different color and vibration. And the workshop uses this gem to bring out puppets and different, different abilities. Cool. 
Man, that was cool. Now where the hell do I go? I'm trying to think. Is this where I came from? This is where I came from. Okay. This way. Man, that was a good fight. That was tough. I, I thought he was going to kill me a few times there. But one thing that <laughs> I learned while playing the demo is that patience is key in these games, man. You gotta be patient. But then at the end there, I completely went against that and got super aggressive. And it almost killed me. Okay. Can I break this over here? No. Okay. I wonder how useful the Legion arm would have been there. Wait, what? I thought he was about to try to attack me. Is there really not a stargazer Mission around here? Mentioned. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. Okay. So you'll have to lie to get inside. I have to You're a lie. special puppet after all. Okay. I'm a special puppet? Okay. There's no way all these motherfuckers are gonna come to life. That would be unfair. <laughs> this moonstone is not from this world, however, it was the most optimal enhancement material in the urgency. Yeah! I almost read it fast enough. There you are. Upgrades a normal weapon blade up to plus three. Oh shit. Okay, now we're getting some good stuff. I mean, not that the Ergo wasn't good already. The Moonstone was not from this world, however, it is the most optimal enhancement material. In the urgency, technicians push forward with using the Moonstone for weapon upgrade without time to review it any further. Interesting, okay. I definitely held down circle like if I was gonna run by doing that. <laughs> My bad. Another tin herbal fragment. All right. I'm gonna heal just in case. Attack enemies with a weapon to Wait, what? It actually gives us an ability to gain one back? Oh, that's very unique to this game. Usually the Souls games, you know, they like, once you're out of healing, you're out of healing. But this one actually gives you a chance to bring one back by attacking. Okay. Welcome to the Sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? She said to lie, right? Your springs are reacting. Huh. So are they trying to say he's the only one that can lie? Huh. Interesting. Damn, this this developer gets it, man. 
Look at the atmosphere, the design, oh, it's the music. Oh, that's great. I got goosebumps. What is this? Oh, are we actually getting like cinematic story? Oh shit, okay. In the demo, it just stops at the title card. So they were essentially using puppets as What the shit? Oh, is this the puppet frenzy? Oh god Oh, he has bodies in his cage I did not notice that. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. That is now that. Now that is how you do an intro. Oh shit. Oh look. If you look at the loading bar. It's actually his nose getting bigger. Oh this. The little details man. Oh man that was. Cool. Did you. Oh no this is great. I'm so happy to see you. Sophia, I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Krop to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers, but we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krop is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Okay. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. Oh, this is this is fantastic. You can level up through Sophia using the ergo in your possession. You can increase your stats when you level up. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's what we've been doing. Okay. I guess it's just letting you know that you can also Look do it here. Germany. I think he's in shock. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. Gemini. So they call no him inventor, Gemini, okay. But perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Uh -huh. Wait. Take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. An actual, like, guide? Teleport to a hotel or last stargazer used. A pocket watch from Sophia. The power inside the watch returns the user to the last stargazer visited or to the hotel stargazer. A pocket watch imbued with mystical power. Wow. The power of the watch turns back time to when the boy was in peak condition. Wow. Wow. Huh. 
use my power to help you. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. Okay. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. Hmm. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. Interesting. Let's get all our shit back real quick. You can teleport. Okay. Uh, Welcome to Hotel Crop. Mm -hmm. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. Lady Antonia. At Hotel Crot, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Crot. How may I be of service? Well, he looks crazy. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First okay. law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Mm -hmm. Second law. A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? He looks so cool, man. Purchase? What can I buy from you? I can buy two quarts. Legion magazine. Okay. I'm gonna save my money for now. I'm sorry. Damn, this hotel is crazy, man. Wow, look at the details. Jesus. Who's this? What are you looking at? Unexpected guests. Oh. Are we don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia. And this is my hotel. Mm hmm. Welcome. Well, oh. I knew from the moment we met the George Geppetto's puppet. He did have a few screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. If he doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even see I the, the I IV. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. Someone's memory. Okay. Whip it to your belt. Okay. So I have I don't know what amulets are. The uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. These clothes have been worn before. The uniform of a boarding school famous in crowd. The initial M is engraved. Is engraved. Hmm. 
hunting apparel worn by the greatest treasure hunter of Krat. The golden wings attached to these clothes serve as proof of their identity. The hound was the subject of everyone's admiration, so much so that some aspired to steal his name. Everyday attire that can go and catch is imbued with someone's kind consideration. Oh, that one looks dope. Okay. There's something that wants me to wear. It suits you. For a moment there, you look just like. Well, forgive me, Bramble. When you get to my age, your memories are like good friends. And just as distracting. <laughs> Who do I look like? Oh, she was about to say something. Man, am I glad I did that. As the recent rumors of the Grand Expedition Ghost Hotel spread, more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Interesting, a ghost hotel. I've heard, I've heard that more times than I can remember, but fortunately our hotel guests are brave like lions. Hmm. Now I'm curious, curious as to know if there really are. have no idea so many secrets are buried in crowd. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? Oh. I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your lives are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie. To protect yourself and find your path. Okay. I'm an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make yourself at home. You're always welcome here at the hotel. If you have any questions, ask my butler, Polandina. Okay. Man. Look at the lighting on his character model, dude. Literally, the lighting on his character model is so good. It's so good. Damn, look, even on the hair. Wow. This this team, they did a fantastic job with this game. Well, I wonder if she'll say anything. Let me see. Hmm? 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 No? Maybe I have to get closer? I'll use my power to oh, help. Oh, I was about to say he's looking at me, so that must mean something, right? Ooh, who are you? about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's the Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> what the hell just happened? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Legion arm. Is a special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arm can be modified until all sorts of forms and modifications can be used. Can be made using the ven vengani, veni, veni craft machine. Can someone say this dude's name already? The sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Mm. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know Eugenie. my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. 
If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. Oh. Well, you know you, Jenny? You and me are about to become best friends. Oh, yeah. For lore purposes, I'm gonna I keep this outfit on. Weapon. Okay. A stargazer is a survival device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. Mm -hmm. The stalkers installed stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. Okay. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at okay. me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on. Mm, I don't think you do. If you have a moonstone, Evgeny can help you upgrade a weapon's blade. The weapon's attack power will increase when you upgrade the blade. Some blades can only be upgraded with a special moonstone. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I want to upgrade it just yet. You can bring you you any cranks to alter weapon handles. Each handle's property upgrades based on your character's default abilities. You can change this property and grade one time with the handle alteration. However, you can always reset it with a balanced crank. Okay. Interesting. I'm not gonna do anything just yet. Kinda need to understand more, you know? Oh my god, so many cats. Okay. I'm sorry, kitty cat. Oh my god, he's pissed. Never mind. I think that's everything in here. Anything, whatever is there. Hmm. Upstairs, real quick. I just want to see if there's anything up there. That looks like the way outside. Okay. Are these. I just want to see what's up here. I did not mean to do that. My bad. Hmm. It's a weird little corner, no? Okay. I think that's literally everything. Is there anything else out here? So it's down. Great fortune to all visitors, rest all travels. Blessings to all friends. No. Is there...
Hmm. I feel like this is gonna. This is gonna be used for something at some point. Rest. Yeah, you're either gonna have to like. You're probably gonna get an emote that like makes you pray or something. A gesture, I should say. Stop it. Oh, and that's where you change legion arms. Okay. Don't got any music. I guess that makes sense. Okay, let me... I guess I can just use this. I'll use my power to help you. Level up. Level up, baby. Yeah, let's put this up. What is technique for exactly? strength to be like really good bigger stamina okay Still kind of confused on that one. I don't exactly know what that means. this out. Let me actually make sure I'm like upgrading the right thing. Or else I will restart. Just kidding. Okay, gotta get closer. I think I'm doing more damage. Teleport to the stargates, or you can transfer from one stargates to another. Oh, cool! And then it tells you. Nice. Very nice. All right. Bueno, mi gente. I think I'm gonna call it there for a video. I think we actually did a good amount of stuff. We got some lore in. We did a good amount of upgrades. 
we find we beat that that clown i guess the parade master sorry so we beat the parade master puppet we got to hotel krat and like i said we did a good amount of upgrading and uh hopefully i've been upgrading the right thing for that strand um but i guess we won't know until later on in the playthrough right but i think i've been doing it correctly um so yeah guys i cannot wait i am loving this game so far the developers so far seem to know what they're doing the atmosphere has been incredible and the details the design and like everything is just it seems so thought out and it's, it's just so good it's so good and this is based off of the story of pinocchio that's crazy to me i can't wait to see where this goes i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i can't wait to upload the next episode for you guys because i'm excited for this game i really am and um it feels like a like a souls style game but it doesn't feel like a soul style game it almost feels like bloodborne you know where they're talking about stalkers like the juntas uh from the uh bloodborne games and stuff like that um but it feels so good the game feels really fluid so far the story really has me especially after that uh cutscene that we saw like the cinematic intro and that was amazing and um i'm just i'm loving this game so far and i can't wait to continue it with you guys but on that note as i always say let the stress go let the good vibes flow this is the beginning of a new year and i can't wait to see what 2024 has in store for us this has been a pleasure this is your boy Chino signing out. Peace.